So this is where we are in college football today. I'm Mark Rogers. Welcome to the Voice of College Football. Please like the video. Share these videos out on social media. Subscribe right here at the Voice of College Football SEC. We've got 25 team channels, including from the SEC, Georgia, Tennessee, and Florida in the east, Alabama, Texas, A&M, LSU, and Auburn in the west. So again, please subscribe. The reason I made the comment that I did off the top is we as college football fans are all about rivalry, loyalty, tradition, allegiance. We'd like to know that our players are our players forever. They're staying with us. We'll see them in the NFL in 10 years and always know that player only wore our colors. Well, the transfer portal has changed all that. Uh, The reason I made the statement that I just did is that this particular move really takes it to another level. So consider a guy like Jamison Williams, maybe the biggest impact transfer this last season goes from Ohio State to Alabama. Well, the two teams didn't play. He's off to the NFL now. Or somebody like uh, Spencer Rattler, Oklahoma, South Carolina, the odds of them playing next to zero. Even Henry Toa Toa, yes, <laughs> he had to play against his former teammates moving from Tennessee to Alabama. Fierce rivalry, huge rivalry, but Tennessee not at that level right now, competing for an SEC championship. We've got a different one right here. Jermaine Burton, two weeks ago, fought tooth and nail in the most intense, most important matchup of the college football season. Actually, twice. First for the SEC championship, and then for the national championship for Georgia. Put it on the line for Georgia to win a national championship against Alabama. Now he transfers to Alabama. 26 catches, 500 yards, 19 yards per catch. That's elite territory, five touchdowns. Had his best game in 2020, actually, with JT Daniels, a quarterback, against Mississippi State. Eight catches for a buck 97 and two touchdowns. So Jermaine Burton, why is he leaving Georgia, losing its number one wide receiver in George Pickens, going to the NFL to play at Alabama? Well, there is a need at Alabama. Since the four wide receivers left in the first round in back-to-back drafts, uh, the wide receiver room has taken a bit of a hit. There were two tremendous players there, of course, in John Mechie, Jameson Williams. We saw once Mechie left the lineup in the playoff and then... Jameson Williams in the national championship game, uh, the production, the performance, uh, the explosiveness went down considerably, and the dependability, uh, reliability of catching the football went down tremendously. Now, those players that are stepping up into those roles, they will get better. They're loaded with talent, too. But, of course, Jermaine Burton, I guess, sees a need and a place where he can step in and produce, especially with a top-notch quarterback, maybe the best in the nation in Bryce Young. But just consider the oddity of winning a national championship. And now he's enrolling in classes. He's going to be on campus, probably is right now, and starting winter workouts, I guess, this week with Alabama, with the guys he just beat in the national championship game. And will probably play for and with in the national championship game or the SEC title game, at least, against Georgia in 2022. This is where we are in college football. Please like, comment, share the videos, and subscribe right here at the Voice of College Football. We've got call-in shows on the main channel all the time and live streams all over the place constantly every day. So please subscribe and uh, hit that bell for the notifications to know when we go live. And we will see you I'm sure with another transfer very soon.